Gentlemen's Kid Scouts. Good morning, Scouts. Welcome to another day at Commons Kid Scouts. I'm Scout Leader Patricia. And I'm Scout Leader Ashley. And as you know, here at Kid Scouts, we have been learning some very important life skills and lessons based on the teachings of Jesus. Along the way, we've been collecting badges for each new skill we learn. And after every lesson, there's an important Scout's mission for you to complete. Last week, we played a fun game of Pass the Parcel, and with every layer of the parcel, we got a clue that led us on our lesson about how blessed we are by God, even when life's hard and we face challenges of all kinds. This week, we're going to be decoding a hidden message by answering trivia questions. Each question we get right, a new word of our secret message will be revealed. I'll ask and you answer. Are you ready? I'm ready. What's the first question? The question is, what is the name of the holiday on which many people celebrate the birth of Jesus? That's so easy. It's Christmas, of course. You got it. And the first word in our message is love. Nice. OK, I'm ready for the next question. Hopefully this one isn't as easy. <laughs> we'll see. The next question is, what is the first book of the Bible called? Huh, the first book. Mmm, that's the one that goes once upon a time. I mean, no, that's not right. It goes in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Oh, what was it called? Gen, Gen, Genesis? You got it. Great job. And the next word in our message is your. Hmm, love your. Love your what? Love your dog? Your friends? Uh, yourself? Ah, well, let's have the next question then. Good call. The next question is, what was the name of Jesus' mom's cousin who was also the mother of his cousin, John the Baptist? Hold on, hold on. Jesus' mom's cousin? Yep, who was also the mother of Jesus' cousin, John the Baptist. You could have just said the mom of John the Baptist. And I know that one. We learned about that in the Christmas story. Her name was Elizabeth. That's right. And our next word is enemies. Enemies? Love your enemies? What? Mm-hmm. But wait, there's one more question. This should make things more clear. This question is, how many coins did the poor widow give to the temple treasury? Ah, another easy one. We just learned this. She gave two small copper coins, which was everything she had to live on. You got it. And that brings us to our last part of the message. It's Luke. 27 to 31. Oh, it's a Bible verse. Let's see what it says. Jesus said, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who say bad things to you. Pray for those who are mean to you. If someone hits you on one cheek, show them your other cheek too. If someone takes your coat, give them your shirt too. Give to anyone who asks. And if someone takes something from you, don't ask for it back. Wow. That's a pretty hard teaching. It sure is. It's even hard to love friends and family sometimes, but your enemies and those who are really mean to you, that's really hard to do. I guess that's what Jesus is like though, right? Jesus loves everyone, no matter who they are, even those who did wrong to him. And as Jesus' followers, it makes sense that he asks us to do the same thing. When we do that, we're showing people God's love, and it might just change their hearts too. That's a great point. And you know what that means? Another badge! Woohoo! Nice! And for today's Scouts mission, we challenge you to remember this teaching and be especially kind to people who you don't really get along with or who are mean to you. By doing that, you'll be more like Jesus. Can't wait to hear all about it next week here at Commons Kid Scouts.